Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Today's video is super, super special because I am teaming up with my friend Rachel Shimmers and Silver here on YouTube and on Instagram. Editing Jessie here. I am so, so sorry. I realized as I was editing, I did not introduce the project and that's what happens when you film at five in the morning. So I am so, so sorry. Today's video is going to be a palette bingo using the Odin's Eye Trio collab palettes with my friend Rachel. I'm sure you already have heard that part, but yeah, essentially we're just doing a palette bingo uh, using these palettes. Back to your regularly scheduled content. We're both big fans of the Odin's Eye formula and we both have similar makeup styles, so I'm excited to see how our looks turn out. Of course, I will link Rachel's video down below in the description as well as her Instagram in case you wanna go check her out. She's lovely, I think you would all love her. And with that, let's go ahead and dive into today's video. On the screen, you will see a screen capture of me drawing the shades that we were using for today's palette bingo. But up here we have from Flora Story, Sage and Best Buds. Then from Sea Talk, we have Mermaid Scale and Iridescent Shell. And then from Planet Spirit, we have Kindred and Sanctuary. So I'm not really sure which direction I wanna go with this. I'm almost thinking I'm going to use the red and the pink in the inner corner, do a green all over the top, and then maybe use the purple on the bottom. I don't really have a game plan. We're just gonna go for it. I think first I'm actually gonna pop into Sage from the Flora Story palette. And I'm just gonna take that on a Michaela Glam Light. This is the number two brush. I'm gonna start with this on the outer corner of the eye look because this color story is so shimmer heavy. I really just wanna use this to add depth. And I don't think we're gonna use a lot of mattes in this look. I think this is the only matte in the color story. So for this shade, I am literally just patting it into the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm just very gently blending that out. It doesn't have to be perfect because I am gonna go back in with some shimmers and then we can define this outer part a little bit more once the shimmers are on. Next, I'm gonna go into Best Buds from the Flora Story palette. And I'm just taking that on my half of an ABH brush and I'm patting that on the middle of my lid. I think this is gonna be my primary lid shade. So I'm just going to take that all over the center of my lid into that previous green shade. And also while we're in Flora Story, I'm just gonna pop into Dawn, which is this white with green shimmer. This is not part of the color story, but I just wanna use that to highlight my brow bone. I just feel like that'd be really pretty. Now that I have that green shimmer, I'm gonna pop back into Sage just to define that outer corner again. I'm really just patting it and then as lightly as I can, blending out the edges. It doesn't have to be perfect. I always like to go for a smoky eye, but just enough to add a little bit of definition to the outer corner. Next, we're popping into Sea Talk and we are going to go into Mermaid Scale, which is this mint shimmer. And I'm going to use this also on my lid, but in the inner part where I did not put Best Buds. So I, again, taking that same half ABH brush and I'm just patting that right on the inner part of my lid. I don't wanna take it onto the inner corner. I'm just putting it on the inner part. And I think that's really pretty, that transition. I love these shades. And I love that these palettes in particular, you can interchange with each other. They just all look so good, both on their own and when you combine them. I just loved playing with these palettes. For the lower lash line, I actually wanna pop into Planet Spirit and we're gonna go into Sanctuary. Wait, no, that's not right. We're gonna go into Kindred, which is this purple iridescent shimmer. Very pretty color. I think I've actually used this one on its own a couple times. I'm just gonna take that on the pencil brush side of a Urban Decay Naked brush. I'm not sure which one this is. And I'm going to go ahead and start smudging that along my lower lash line. Scratch that, I wanna actually switch up my lower lash line. Oops. Um, I'm going to go into a ColourPop E20 and then we are going into Sanctuary, which is this matte red, and I'm going to really tight line my lower lashes. I'm really just going to keep that right along the lower lash line. And on this side, I'm just going to put it over the purple because I've already put the purple down. And my plan was to put the purple over it anyway, so I'll just go over it again. I really like this red. It's almost like a bright red with a touch of pink. So I'm just cleaning that up a little bit. It does make my eyes look a little sick right now, but hopefully that's not the case when I put the purple over it. Back into that pencil brush with the purple. I just thought this would add a little bit of warmth to the purple. So that was my initial plan. And I think it's doing that. I think it's turning it into a nice warm purple. Yeah, 
I'll go with that. That works. Uh, you can still sort of see the red underneath. It just adds a little bit of warmth under the eye. I really like that. I think that's beautiful. I'm just cleaning that up with a clean blending brush just to make sure it's nice and diffused. That is the lower lash line. Okay, girl, that looks good. I'll take it. The last shade we need to use is Iridescent Shell from Sea Talk. It is this beautiful pink shimmer. It has that nice chunky formula. I'm just taking that and popping that in my inner corner as my inner corner highlight because it is, that had black on it. Oh my gosh. That brush literally had black on it because I forgot I've been using that as, um, I've been using that as a smudger brush when I do smudged black liner. So we're just gonna wipe that off. Now I'm going to take a actual clean pencil brush and we're going to pop mermaid scale into my inner corners that even got black on the shade. That's so, so sad. It's kind of this chunky glitter formula. There we go, that looks a lot better. Um, I'm gonna start on this side just to make sure I was, yep, I was not crazy. That was definitely black. That scared me for a second. You know, sometimes these videos, you never know what's gonna happen. I do feel like this selection of shades in particular though does look very nice together. That is the eye look completed. I think I might actually pop on a winged liner. So let me go ahead and finish off this look and then we'll meet back for our final thoughts. All right, friends, this is the final look. What do we think? I think it looks gorgeous. I love how this turned out and I'm so excited to see how Rachel's look turns out as well. If you haven't already, please go check out her channel and give her some love. She is amazing. She is a great soul and I love her so, so much. I know you guys will all love her as well. This has been such a fun video to make. I hope you guys all enjoyed it as well. I have no idea what these front pieces of my hair are doing. It's driving me nuts, but I hope you guys have a lovely day and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye, friends.